Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Now, it has been freaking ages since I've played this game. Uh, I'm not joking. I have completed the entirety of Resident Evil Village uh, <laughs> since I last played this. Yeah, so um, if I'm going to be generous, I'm going to say it's been at least three weeks since I've played this game. Now, uh, we did have a key uh, that I couldn't... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That I didn't know where to use it. Now, I did some running around off camera. Yeah, I could have used a guide, but eh, I'm just not that smart, yo. Uh, anyway, I did notice when I examined said key, mentioned something about uh, the library. And I don't, you know, I didn't watch my previous video back because I wasn't that stuck. I did kind of remember where we were, but I can't remember too many details. Like, I don't know why I didn't just come down here and use this key in this door. I, I've, uh, you know, it's that age old thing where if you're stuck in a game, sometimes, you know, taking a step backwards and uh, leaving it a day and then coming back, you, you kind of uh, <laughs> get a little bit further, you know? It's it's interesting. But anyway, we need this key to use here. And I guess this... Yeah, here we go. We're in the library. Right. I have got a guide for this game, and I have used it, but not for a while. Well, all righty then. Did we get that little overview? Carnby? I'm in the library. <laughs> it's awesome. Don't touch anything. It probably contains treasures. Do you really think I don't know the difference between a pulp novel and an Elzevor edition? An <laughs> Elzevor? I'd never have guessed that such a term were part of your vocabulary. Oh yeah? Well, don't worry. I'm just full of surprises. Over. Yes, so. I see our, our boy Carnby here is a man of culture. Okay. Right, well, uh, let's switch the light on before we do anything. Now, did we get that overview when we played as... Uh, Aline? Elaine? 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 I can't, you know, I can't even remember her name. Ellen, I think, was her name. Yeah, wasn't it Ellen? It was something like that. Uh, yeah, my brain has been totally overtaken by Resident Evil Village. Man, what a fucking game that was. Uh, you know. Right, so, new area. Now, something Blind Man. Uh, I keep calling you Blind Man. Um, Reaver of Jill Sandwiches said to me, because I was confused as to why sometimes we have a little arrow on the map indicating us and where we're looking, and sometimes we don't. Now, he said, maybe it's to do with the torch. And I thought, actually, that makes a lot of sense. That's a good idea. But, uh, that does not, no. No, that's not the case. So we still haven't solved the mystery of why sometimes we have an arrow and sometimes we don't. We've read all this stuff, actually. Uh, we have read all this stuff before. Um, but... Oh, it's so laggy. Come on. Right, okay. Getting in and out of... Um, Documentation is so laggy in this game. Like you spam the button like six times because it doesn't. You don't think it's registered, but it has. So coming and going from the actual base thing. Right. Uh, so these are important things outlined in red, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do. We've got shotgun shell. What have we got here? We've got rocket launcher. Oh god, really? Okay. We've got the triple barrel gun, which is. The grenade launcher, which wasn't bad. We've got the pistol, which is utter dog shit. Not really sure why the pistol was in this game at all. But there we are. We are going to search everywhere because from what I can remember, we were finding items. You know, just kind of like randomly scattered around. So uh, even uh, items that weren't actually showing up as little flashing dots. <clears throat> so it's definitely worth examining everything. Now I know there's uh, Ellen. I'm going to call her Ellen. I'm 
sure that's what her name was. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care if that wasn't her name. Now. I'm sure there was, like, grenade rounds for her here somewhere. So I'm gonna, like, go out on a limb and say they're probably here for Kambi. Right? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. So what's down here? Yeah, we're not getting much. I'm guessing there's gonna be different puzzles. Now, I did read one thing. Uh, was it in the guide? It might have been in the guide. Uh, the Edward's, like, mission, or his chapter, I guess, if you want, his scenario, if you want to pull from uh, Resident Evil, is supposed to be easier and less puzzle-heavy. Uh, and I must admit, I kind of rolled my eyes when I found out that Ellen's uh, story was very puzzle-heavy. Was Oh, it's rain. It wasn't really... Um, you know, very uh, action heavy, but actually playing through the game, I think that's a load of old bullshit, really. Because you didn't have that many puzzles. Not really. Um, and it was plenty uh, action heavy, for sure. Right, can we fiddle with these? Ah, we can. Look at that. Um. Oh. Oh, right. Got ya. Okay. So, we have that. Right. So, I'm guessing that's got... Oh. Is there something flashing there? Yeah, uh, not sure. Okay. Ooh, hello. Oh, the cheese and... Biscuits was that? Dude? Are you here? You wanna suck the barrel of my shotgun? Okay, well I guess we're gonna be seeing a little bit more... Oh, the light's gone out. Oh, come on, man. You just turned me bloody lights out. I mean, honestly. Yes. Okay. So. You want to push this book? I guess. Book is in position. Right. Book is in position for what, though? And we're finally... Uh, because I'm playing a different game. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh, right, okay. I'm guessing we have to do these in a certain order. Yeah, because I'm playing a different game now, I'm using... I've gone back to using OBS. Um, which is cool. Yeah, right, getting it. So, did all of those get ejected then? Yeah, I've gone back to using OBS, thank fuck for that. Uh, I mean, when you push that one in, that's got four dots. So, does that mean that's book number four? I don't know. Right, let's come, oh, let's come back here in a minute. Let's go have a little look at the outside. Yeah, it's so much better now to have my noise gate, and, uh, you know, all my features back. Like, using shadow... Oh, hello. Get out of here. Honestly, who do you think you're fucking with, friend? Um, yeah, it's so nice to have all of my features and everything back. Oh, my God. Like, shadow play is, you know, like five years after it's been introduced, is still painfully basic. So, very happy to be back off that. I'm hoping when I get a new graphics card, 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, new graphics card. Funny, funny man, funny man. Uh, I'm hoping when that happens, be able to record the RE engine with OBS, then we can forget about Shadow. I can see the fort in the distance, but with the naked eye, I can barely see anything. Okay. Does that mean we need... Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of funky voodoo going on in here. Yeah, see, she had, like, some kind of ammo or something in here. I think it was grenade ammo, actually. Like, up here. Which apparently is not here now. Interesting. Guessing we need to get some kind of telescope. Wait. Wait, just one caught and pick a minute. Do we have one? We do not. No. Okay. We've got a lot of health kits though, which is fine. I'm gonna hold on to the Oh, you fucking sack of shit. Twelve shotgun cartridges to put that bloody thing. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, nothing this way, which I kind of expected. Okay, so let's have a little look into this area. Oh, and I can pause the recording and stuff. Oh my god, yeah, OBS, man. Oh, I can pause the recordings. I can do loads of other little things. Ah, oh, shadow play. One day, shadow play. Maybe in another 16 years, it will be a to be fit. I mean, I think the biggest problem with Shadow Play for me is you can push record and, you know, you'll get your little symbol up in the corner, but it doesn't actually mean anything. It doesn't mean anything at all. It be doing anything. Most likely it's, you know, just not working, but it doesn't tell you it's not working. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Um, so... Can we switch the lights back on? Now I know for some people Shadow Play works very well, but you only have to go into the uh, forums to see what a broken mess is. Uh, that is no good. Right, so, com right, I saw him complete the incantation of the circle of stones facing in the direction of the... Okay. Conjunction. Right. Got any more red text here? Right, by creating the Morton Oil Company on March 23, 1889, at the age of 37. Yes. Now, we did use that. Uh, 1874. Right. Um, 18... Uh, 1931. I'm guessing that's probably nothing too relevant. All right, fine, fine. Uh, what was this? That's the one we looked at, isn't it? I uh, yes. Okay. Now we know when we played as uh, Ellen, there was stuff here. You know, there was quite a lot of stuff here. Right. Now, hopefully, there isn't just like two books up here. And loads of books everywhere else. Or maybe this is why we want uh, the lights off. Maybe that helped. I don't know. We drink this water. Maybe not. Yes. They just start consuming random liquids found in a haunted, ghostly manner. 
probably not a great idea actually. You know, never take my advice. You're probably gonna die. Okay. Or at least turn into some dribbly monster thing. Which are oh, nice. Um now. So we, I mean we've got some dates that we can but nah. I don't think that's it, Chief. I don't think that's it, Chief. See, look at this food here. There's definitely there's something here, but I think that's some kind of bug. Uh, emulation bug, maybe? Do with how the layers are stored in the game, maybe? the. That seems, that would be my guess. Ah. There's a book. So that, oh right, so that's four. Right. So, four piece is still in. Still inserted into the right place. This one still? No, that one isn't. So, the four piece is down. What happens if we push that in? Apparently, not much. Right, so where is the other book then? And is the four piece still down? Guessing so? That was like here, wasn't it? No, that was not. They can only push one of these in at a time. Well, I mean, that that's obviously not the case. Uh, obviously, you know, there is an order for these things. Might be worth turning out the light, actually. Right, so. I can't tell whether there's four books or three books. It's not exactly. Ah, nope, that transition. So, where are those books? Where are those books? God damn it, can't be. Fool! Hey, he says he knows like his literature, so surely he should know a book. Looks slightly odd. I guess not. Like this, there's a load of oh, box of rockets. I wonder what that was. I was sure we could interact with it. I don't think we were supposed to be launching rockets around. Ah. That. Right, book is in position. Oh, so, I mean, I'm guessing that there's four books. Right. So, there's got to be a, like another book here somewhere, surely. I have a little bit silly. I was hoping they would be a little bit more obvious. Maybe they are if we turn the lights off. Yeah, it's all spoopy in here. Well, I mean, you know, this library is a pretty fucking big place. Maybe we can't see them without the lights on. I don't have the time to read. Now he says that here. Really. Right, one second, guys. I am going to have a fiddle with this and see what I can find. Okay, so I... I think I now have the order. He says with utmost confidence. Uh, right, yeah. So I've already done that one at the top. Now we've done this one down the bottom. Right. So, I mean, it kind of tells you which one to do in what order, but not really. And then I think this one. No, that was wrong. See? You see? We ruined it. So we're going to. Okay. Yeah, I've been experimenting a little bit with this. It's it's honestly not that difficult. The hardest part of this was finding out where the actual books were.
Yeah. I did the wrong book. I may have done the wrong book. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. Alright. Okay. I might have to go do them again. I'm going to run around and do them off camera. And then I will explain the... The, what, the biggest issue I'm having with this, apart from, you know, finding where the books were. Which, you know, once you've done that, you've done that. It's just how far apart the books are. It's kind of stupid. But hey, here we go. Right, one second, guys. Right, okay. So, uh, I pushed that one. Ha! <laughs> Which was wrong. Yeah, we actually need to go push this one over here. Uh, 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 where are we? There we go. That's the one I was looking for, which I've already pushed. So, yeah, do that one. Do that one. That's, that's the next one. Uh, right. So now, now, uh, I think it's this one here. Yeah. No. 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 Why would it be? Why would it be? Ah, God, this is annoying. Why do they have to be so far apart? Really silly. It's you know, it's like the whole future armor thing all over again. Pans are in the fucking attic, kitchens in the basement. Ugh. Right. Okay. So. Ah. Uh, so the first book, I th think. This one here, one that's all the way at the frickin' top, because fuck you, why not? I mean, is this necessary? Really? To go all the way back here? Right, so there we go. So that one's locked in place. Now that book's actually telling you which one to put next, right? <sighs> which... Uh, is the book as soon as you come in through the door, I believe, of the library, next to the double doors, I think. Like, I mean, it's not a, well, it's not a difficult puzzle. Uh, not really, but it is a bit of a pain in the fucking gooch, you know? I mean, they make you work for this. They really make you work for this. I mean, uh, Carnby isn't a really a very slow character. You know, he's got a bit of a spring in his step, right? But uh, this, there's just so much area to cover. Right, now is it this one? Let's have a look. Right, yes, so that one next. Okay, so now we need to push the one that corresponds with the white dot there. Which uh, is the one this side, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. So we just got to look at the white dot. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, cool. And then, obviously, um, the last book is up here. So actually, you know, the puzzle does kind of tell you where... Okay, hello. I guess... I guess we are going to fight that thing? Kind of looks weird. Uh, hey friend. Ow. Oh. Ow? Okay. I guess this guy just hits different. Yeah, so every time the screen goes like that, he's going to zap us with a strange ooze. Now, is this guy a boss? Or is this just like a normal character? I have no idea. Uh-oh, run. 
I mean, he's kind of a joke. If this is all you got to do to hide from him, to be honest. Run. Run. I'm guessing we're hurting him. I'm not really sure. Run. I don't mind if we get hit once or twice. Okay, so he's taken a whole load of rounds. What have we got left in the shotgun? We've got plenty, but we do have a case of rockets. So let's try the rocket launcher. We never really got to play with that, did we? Ooh. I think that fucking rocked him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's see that big, beautiful face of yours. What do you think of my rockets, huh? Your weird magical voodoo versus science. There we go. There we go. That's stinging him in the Jacobs. Right, okay. We've still got plenty. I mean, he's soaking these rockets up. Which is leading me to believe... A, these aren't doing any damage to him. Or B, there's another way we're meant to be defeating this thing. Uh, which I guess, same thing. Really. Yeah, maybe we're meant to, I don't know, turn the lights on or something? Yeah, because, I don't know, Chief. I'm not getting the feels that we're doing a lot of damage this far. Which is unfortunate. Oh, we hit him with two rockets then. I guess that explains why there were rockets just, you know, there. Come on, fuckface. Oh, yeah, okay, so when he does that... Got one left. He's invincible, I guess. I mean, that was the, the full ten piece of rockets. So... Yeah. Yeah, not, not not fantastic, actually. Yeah. So this is kind of like, it's weird that filter that covers the screen. Oh, he's squealing. He's squealing. He's squealing like a piggy. Yeah, that filter that goes over the screen is kind of like a cutscene. Like a video filter, it gets really compressed and weird. Oh god, we got no rounds. That's what's going on. Yeah, I... Mm. Yeah, maybe we don't fight this guy like this. Yeah, you can't seem to be able to avoid that. Yeah, okay. Ow. Have we just, like, wasted everything? Because he's a pretty rough customer. Let's be fair. Maybe we turn the lights on downstairs. Maybe that's the trick. Can't really see that being the trick, but let's give that a go. Right, fuckface. See how you like some light action. Um. Yeah. Yeah, not really getting the not really getting the sense that did a whole lot of much, actually. We've wasted a lot of ordnance on this thing. There he is. He's still gonna Yeah, he's still gonna electrocute us. Yep. See what's that about? What is that about? When he because that doesn't mean he's going to attack. Dude, you're kind of using up all my ammo here. Which ain't really on, Chief. So unless the game is going to give me a big old bucket of ammo. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's invincible when that happens. Oh, great. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, God. That's not fine. Yeah, we're really down to like 30 shots left. Actually, we're down to less than 30 shots. 
Each one of these is three. So we're down to like, I don't know, 20 really. Wish we could reload. Like properly, you know? Now Resident Evil could get away with it because weapons had a decent magazine size. But when your gun only holds three shots, kind of annoying to keep going into inventory and reloading. There we go. Although I am thankful that we don't have to watch him put all the shells in one by one. That would uh, be poopy. Alright, let's go. Let's go. You know what? I'm... Ow. Although, interestingly enough... Ouch. Dude. Ah, bollocks. Hang on. This is going to be... Complete ass biscuits. Ow. Because... We've got quite a little way to go. Uh. Oh. Oh, you're not happy about something. He's not happy about something. Right, where was the other book? Oh, piss. I totally wasn't looking at my health. Well. Well, I guess we're dead. That's a little bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> right. So, I'm going to get us back to where we were. Uh, ladies and gentle dudes. When we come back, uh, I guess we're going to try and kick that thing in the nuts. Pretty hard. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.